Yo guys, Ironics here, and that's my new name. I'm going to show you how to do something very cool and very free. That little clip you just watched took a ton of frames to make. Uh, it's 96 frames long, but the thing is, it's used in IN 3D, and I'm going to show you how it's completed in at the most 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. Let's get started. And hey guys, this is Ironics here, and today we are going to be... Well, he already went for that. Uh, so, what you're going to do first... Sorry if like that stuff is distracting you. What you're going to need to do first is to press the Add button and press Models. Now, you can scroll through and take forever, or you could go in the Categories. So... I'd probably do the background first. It's got a blue or... Let's see. Uh, I'll add a scrub terrain. And I'll press the camera and I'll move it a little. Hang on. Now, what you're going to do after you've added your background is to add a character and in this case it's going to be a t-rex because it's the easiest to do and what what's wrong mom no oh, sorry about that guys so it's pretty simple just once you get your camera in the right position it's kind of a pain in the butt okay and right there that is what the camera sees so like you want to adjust it and everything, you can. So, now, let's get animating. So, you start out with 24 frames. And I guess that's, you could add 24 more. You know, another 24. Okay, now, let's go all the way back to one. Press your character, and you'll see that these weird dots in a green figure show up. That is where the, the animation starts. So, the first thing I'm going to animate is the head. Now, what you're going to do is you press one of the dots, and then you can move it however you like. See? Watch this. I'm going to do a time lapse. Watch. Okay, so I just made a very small animation, and it's not too complicated. It's extremely simple, so simple it's almost boring. But, okay, press play. And that's it. It's just a head squiggle. If you wouldn't stop glitching, I would have done more. Here, I just extended the, um, that very long clip I just showed you a few seconds ago. And what I'm going to show you right now is how to add animation. So, go to frames. I'm just going to add 24. So, and right when the dinosaur freezes. So, four frames ahead of when it stopped moving. That's my uh, recommended speed. At least for a T-Rex. Add, press one of these dots. I'm just going to move the head for now. And go, basically, oh gosh, it's glitching so much, so bad. Sorry about that. So now, as you can see, you could control it. And I don't want to move too fast because it's probably going to glitch like it just did a second ago. And, oh, I just went five frames ahead. Okay, so watch. One, two, three, four. That's my recommended amount until, like, to wait until, you know, that. To do it again. It's very simple, really, and it's fun. One, two, three, four. Animation. Oops. Uh, glitchy animation. Getting on my nerves. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four. And on the fifth frame after its movement, that's when you animate. So, add one more, even though it's three frames ahead. Okay, make the head like this. Now we just added even more to the to the extended animation.
Hey guys, Ironics here, and that is how you make your animation. Now you can like message it, I don't really know how to save it to a camera roll, but I'm sure you can somehow. It's simple, it's fun, and make sure you get the free version if you're a, a beginner for animation. See you later, subscribe to Ironics.